tell whether the given is a linear inequality in two variables or a linear equation in two variables. Good day everyone! Welcome to my learning channel, Sir Fox Learning Channel. Today, we will learn mathematics for grade 8 with teacher Arlene. Tara, samahan niyo po akong mag-aral muli ng mathematics for grade 8. Good morning learners! We're done with the first quarter and today we're going to start with the second quarter. Okay, our first lesson is differentiating linear inequalities in two variables from linear equations in two variables. So you will see here in the table yung differences ng linear inequalities and linear equations. Okay, differences in symbol used, their form, graph, and the solution. Okay, let's see. Okay, linear equations in two variables in the second column and on the third column, linear inequalities in two variables. Okay, when it comes to symbol used, linear equation in two variables use the equal symbol while linear inequalities in two variable uses this inequality symbols so we have four inequality symbols we have is less than is greater than is less than or equal to and is greater than or equal to okay when it comes to standard form the standard form of a linear equation in two variables is ax plus by equals c while the standard form of linear inequalities in two variables are it could be ax plus by is less than c ax plus by is greater than c ax plus by is less than or equal to c ax plus by is greater than or equal to c okay now when it comes to graph the graph of a linear equation in two variables is a straight line while the graph of linear inequalities in two variables is a shaded region that sometimes include or does not include the line, depending on the inequality symbol used. Okay? For the solution, all points x, y on the line are solution to the linear equations in two variables, while the solution to linear inequalities in two variables are all points x, y in the shaded area. For the symbol is less than and is greater than. And all points x, y in the shaded area and the line for the symbol is less than or equal to and is greater than or equal to. Okay, this time, let's take this activity. Tell whether the given is a linear inequality in two variables or a linear equation in two variables. Okay, this one is very easy. All you have to do is to look at the symbol used. Okay, number 1. 2x minus 3y equals 6. So, what do you think? The symbol used in this, or in number 1, is, is equal. Meaning, this is an example of linear equation in two variables. So, let me use LE for linear equation and Li for the linear inequality. Okay, number 2, 3x is greater than 2y minus 5. As you can see, the symbol used is, is greater than, meaning this is an example of linear inequality. So, let me use Li for linear inequality. Number 3, y is equal to 2x plus 3. Since the symbol used is equal, meaning this is linear equation. And number 4, 3y is less than or equal to 5 plus x. The symbol used is, is less than or equal to. This is an example of linear inequality. And the last one, y is greater than or equal to 3x plus 1. Again, the symbol used is a symbol for inequality. Is greater than or equal to. Therefore, this is an example of linear inequality in two variables. 
So that's it. It's very easy. All you have to do is to look for the symbol used for you to determine which is linear equation and which is linear inequality. Okay, this time let us proceed to illustrating and graphing linear inequalities in two variables. Okay. Kanina, sabi natin that the graph of a linear inequality in two variables is a shaded region. So, how are we going to show the graph of the linear inequality in two variables? Let's take this example. Graph x plus 3y is less than or equal to 6. Okay. So, to graph this, first, we need to graph the line. The line x plus 3y is equal to 6. Okay. Kunwari, gagawin muna natin itong equal sign for us to see the x and the y intercept. Okay. Graph the line. Okay. The first step is we have to graph the line x plus 3y equal 6 by getting the x and the y intercept. Okay? Let's first get the y intercept by setting x to 0. Okay? If x is 0, we have 0 plus 3y equals 6. So we have here 3y equals 6. Multiply both sides of the equation by the reciprocal of the numerical coefficient of 3 here of y, which is 1 third. The numerical coefficient of y is 3. Reciprocal of that is 1 third. Okay? So, we have here y is equal to 6 over 3 or 2. Meaning, the y-intercept is 2. Now, let's get this sign, the x-intercept. We will set y to 0. This time, if y is 0, we have x plus 3 times 0 equals 6. But 3 times 0 is 0. So we have x is equal to 6. Okay, and all we have to do is to graph the x and oh, plot the x and the y intercept. x intercept is 6. So we have here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So here it is. Extend it. And then y is 2. Okay, we're going to connect the two points. And that will serve as the graph of the graph of three uh, x plus three y is equal to six. So the graph or the the graph of this line will serve as the boundary of the shaded region. So ngayon, Paano natin ipapakita yung graph ng inequality na x plus 3y is less than or equal to 6? Pag nag-graph mo na yung line, yun yung magsisilibing boundary. Then, all you have to do is to shade the required region. Paano po yun? Alin, kung ito yung hangganan, ang tanong, saan mo siya shade Yung taas ba ng line o yung baba ng line? Okay? So, para malaman mo, pwedeng tingnan mo yung symbol na ginamit. If the symbol used is, is less than, or kaya is less than or equal, basta merong is less than, always shade the region below the line. Or pwede rin naman, you have to test the origin. Remember, the point of origin is 0, 0. Meaning, x is 0, y is 0. If you, if, if you uh, use, or if you test the point, 0, 0 to your inequality and the inequality becomes true, then kasama siya. So, let's see that. If x is 0 and y is 0, okay, x is 0 and y is 0, will that be less than or equal to 6? 0 plus 3 times 0 is 0. Is 0 less than or equal to 6? Yes, check. 0 is less than 6. Ibig sabihin, true siya. Kaya kasama yung origin. Or kahit hindi natin gawin yun, sabi ko nga kanina, all you have to do is to look at the symbol used. The symbol is, is less than or equal to. Okay, ibig sabihin, sa baba ng line ang yung kukulayan. So, let's do that. Itong 
shaded region na to ang nagko-contain ng solution sa ating inequality. Okay, ibig sabihin lahat ng point dito sa may shade na to kasama yung point na nasa line ay solution to our linear inequality. So, this is the graph of x plus 3y is less than or equal to 6. This one. Okay. So, let's go to number 2. Graph the inequality, uh, graph the linear inequality, y is greater than 1 fourth x minus 3. So, the first step is we need to graph the line y is equal to 1 fourth x minus 3. So, for the meantime, papalitan natin yung inequality symbol ng equal symbol para lang mag-graph natin yung line. Bakit? Kasi yung line na yun, yung magsisilbing boundary o hangganan ng graph natin. Okay, since the given equation is written in slope-intercept form, we're going to use the y-intercept and the slope to graph it. So, the slope is 1 fourth, and the y-intercept B is negative 3. So, okay. Remember, how do we graph a line using the slope, in, the, the y-intercept and the slope? We will start with the y-intercept. The y-intercept is negative 3. So, here, y-axis, 1, 2, 3. This is negative 3. And then, from this point, we need to rise one unit and we need to run four units because the slope is the rise over run. So from negative three, we need to rise one unit here and then run four units. We need to run to the right because the slope is positive. So from this point, one, two, three, four. So here, we will just connect this point to our y-intercept. But since the symbol used here is, is greater than, we have to connect the two points with a broken line. Meaning this time, the... The boundary is a broken line. So, what does it mean if the boundary is a broken line? That only means that the point on the line is not or are not part of the solution to your inequality, to your linear inequality. Unlike kapag, kapag solid yung line, lahat ng point na nasa line mismo kasama sa solution. Kapag broken, hindi kasama sa solution. Okay, so we have grabbed the boundary this time. Alamin natin, alin ang ating isi-shade? Yung upper portion o yung lower portion? So, look at the inequality again. The inequality is, is greater than. So, great, ibig sabihin, sa taas. Kapag ka less than, yung baba ang ating isi-shade. Okay? So, let us shade the upper portion. You may use crayons also in graphing linear inequalities. So that's how we graph linear inequality in two variables. So this shaded region represent the graph of the inequality y is greater than 1 fourth x minus 3. Again, look, the boundary line is a broken line to denote na yung point na miss na nasa line natin ay hindi kasali sa solution. Lahat ng point, pero ito yung hangganan, hindi kasama yung, point, yung mga point na nandyan. While, sa example 1, dahil solid, yung line, yung lahat ng points sa region na to, plus yung mga point na nandun sa line, kasama sa solution. Okay. 
Okay, these are the things you have to remember in graphing linear inequalities in two variables. If the symbol used is, is greater than, the boundary line is a broken line. And you're going to shade the region above the line. Next, if the symbol used is, is less than, the boundary line is a broken line. And you have to shade the region below the line. If the symbol used is, is greater than or equal to, the boundary line is a solid line. And you need to shade the region above the line. And lastly, if the symbol used is, is less than or equal to, the boundary line is a solid line. And you have to shade the region below the line. Another significant lesson na naman for mathematics grade 8 ang inyong natutunan. Hopefully, itong maiksing presentation ay nakatulong po sa ating mga grade 8 distance learners. At sa mga ipa pa po nating viewers, sana nakatulong po ito sa inyo para ma-review, ma-recall yung ating mathematics during our high school days. Marami pong salamat sa panunood at kung bago ka, Sa channel na ito, huwag niyo pong kalimutang mag-subscribe at ihit ang notification bell all para updated ka sa mga susunod ko pong video lessons. Marami pong salamat! Happy learning everyone!